What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of Garage Topics. Today's episode is all about lighting. Lighting is crucial for a garage and we can show you how to go from this to this or even this. If you can do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video, it'd really help me out and get this channel across and more people learning more about the garage and fun stuff, really appreciate it. And if subscribe if you want more garage stuff because I got a ton more videos about this garage and how we built it. Before we get started, I'm gonna switch to the main lighting that I use in this garage, which is really the main reason why this lighting is so good. Okay, so what you're looking at here are six bay lights. These bay lights are from a company called Hyperlight LED. They were gracious enough to reach out to me Honestly, I was looking at buying these anyway, so it was a perfect match, and that's kind of what I try to do in this channel, is if I'm gonna buy something anyway, if I can make a collaboration to showcase if they're good or bad, that's what I'm gonna do. I've got six lights in here, so uh, there's a link in the description of where to find these lights. They have different offerings of lights. Critical information pieces for my garage. The ceiling is very tall. At the sides, where it goes from the black ceiling to the white walls, that's 14 feet at that point, so the peak is about 19 feet tall, so, I really didn't want shadows in here because I'm trying to work, I'm trying to film, want to make sure that there's good lighting in here. If you work with Hyperlight, they will actually give you a demonstration of how shadows and how candle light will be displayed in your garage based on the height of the lights, based on where they're positioned, et cetera, et cetera. Technically four lights would get away with my 44 by 32 garage setup with how high they are. The lights are roughly 15, 16 feet high. Um, they go down both sides, but I opted for six. They were gracious enough to run the model for six lights, and it was clear as day. There was no denying how bright these lights were gonna be, and they've turned out perfect. I'm gonna cut some footage from when I first started building this garage, because literally, these lights are incredible, and this will show you case how bright just one of these lights are. Showing the brightness of this light. Pitch dark out. Decently lit. With one light on the ground. This is so bright. I cannot wait to put them up. Got the one light in and I temporarily rigged up some wiring to get it to brighten up this whole shop and literally just this one over here shining down is super bright so i'm very excited to have put all six in here this is going to be a killer setup got that first row powered on second row i do not because it's on a separate light switch and i technically don't have power out here i'm doing some OSHA approved electricity hookup system setting stuff. Boom. Anyways, very happy with the light up, which is from three, and I've got six, so this place is gonna be popping. The power here, got it black and matching the roof. And then what I did is I got a zip tie and zip tied the excess, excess wire because this does get hot, but it's supposed to. It's a heat sink up here. Um, the wire is not out here, which that would be a concern, and it's not, so it's all good to go. It probably is fine to touch it, but it is hot, so I'd rather save the life of this and get it out of the way. The way that I wire these lights is that it comes with an outlet plug, so I, I technically have outlets in the ceiling. They're all black, you barely can see them, and it just made the install a whole lot easier. I have those outlets on two different switches, so one bay can come on, one bay can go off, vice versa. I primarily always have them on. These lights are so bright that even during the day with the garage doors closed, I turn them on because it just makes working here so much easier. I, I'm so happy with these lights and at the time of this video, I've had them technically for a year now, so I've had zero issues. So I cannot recommend these enough. Please do me a favor, go to click the link in the description, check out these lights and check out the other lights that I have as well because they have more options than just this one style light. But man, this is incredible. All right, let me flip to the other lights because these lights are important as well. All right, so I decided to run additional lights. Why? The other lights are fantastic, but they are very bright. Sometimes I wanna come out to the garage just to hang out, maybe look at my laptop, maybe look at the TV, just do some non-project things, and I want some light that's not gonna really hurt my eyes initially. Even when I come out here to work in the garage at night, I'll flip these lights on, then flip the main hyper lights on. So if you're looking at building a garage or looking at just updating your garage, the word Barina is very popular. 
I decided to buy these myself, so no sponsorship from those guys. These are the 3000K LED, so they're a soft white. They're still relatively bright, but I can look at these, stare at them and not hurt my eyes, even though I don't want to do that a lot. I have six on each side. So what I did is I, these again are rotten off of an outlet. Uh, I just plugged them in and I had the outlet hooked up to a switch so I can turn, turn them on. I, for those, I have just all of them on. I don't have a switch to turn one off or other. I have these connections that I had to run. So they come with a smaller connection, like a foot, foot and a half between each light. I went back to Amazon and bought four foot extensions, I believe, the link's in the description for those as well. That did the trick perfectly for how much spacing I need. I also plastid dipped them black because plastid dip has some malleability, so if you move them, they don't break and crack. I did that to make them look extra clean. I think it did a really good job. It really ties into the overall aesthetic of the garage. Very happy with these lights. I really enjoy that I can come out here and not have to feel like I'm under the pressure to work and do a bunch of work and just relax. Most of the times I run these lights with the other lights as well, and it kind of makes the ceiling look even better doing that. All right, so this is a shot with all the lights on. The camera does a really good job of readjusting the brightness to compensate, so on camera it doesn't look very different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a series in the dark, which is dark time right now, and I'm gonna do a series when it's light out, and I'm gonna set the exposure on fix so you can see how drastic of a change it is between just the regular Barina lights and the Hyperlite LEDs. It's drastic, but it's incredible. But hopefully this video will showcase how bright they are. All right, so these are the 3000K LED Barina lights. I've got my settings on manual, so I believe we are at ISO 4000 for you camera nerds. I've got white balance on auto, and I've turned off the, the filter on here. So I'm gonna go flip the other lights on. I hope that this showcases how bright they are because my eyes, coming into here are fine, but then I turn the other lights on and it takes about a two seconds to get used to those lights, how bright they are, which is incredible. So flip them on. All right. This actually does a really good representation of how bright it is. Um, the difference between what you're seeing in the camera before and after is a reflection of what your eyes would feel in a normal situation. So I'm gonna turn the settings back on to do it automatically, but this showcases really how bright it is. I'm gonna do another one here in a second that's gonna be during the day to show you that these lights even make a big impact with daylight coming through. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. My eyes feel better now too. So in addition to those two main light setups, I technically have three light setups. So these garage doors, which I'll get into in a separate video, have this like, remote control wireless light. I have one of them set up right now, but it really adds a nice mood light to it. Um, I think it looks really good. So in addition to that one, I can go on a long story, but you guys don't want to hear it. I've got this painting that is kind of funny story to me, but I, my mom got me this light, um, which really looks cool. It's, I'll throw a link in the description. It's wireless rechargeable and it makes it look really fancy. The the funny thing is, is that light has a magnet on the top to hold it into that bracket. And I use that in the Bronco to put on the hard top to light up the inside of it. So it works really well, but I'll use a softer lighting when, I don't know, playing Xbox or something like that, which I hardly get to do anymore. But when I do, it's a nice kind of relaxing lighting and it's really neat. All right, so final thoughts on these lights. Do I have any regrets or things I would change? No, not at all. The only thing I would change is that the ceiling height makes it a pain in the butt, that if I ever need to change anything with those LEDs, which I hope I don't have to in a long time, I don't think my ladder can get to it. So I'm gonna have to rent the scissor lift, which I did this job with, which would not be fun. But once you have it, it's really easy. It's just not as easy to get a ladder up there. But no, I, I thoroughly enjoy the lighting that I've got in here. It makes both working on vehicles easy. It makes filming videos about vehicles easy. It just makes life so much easier. I, I can't express enough how fortunate I am to have this set up and I'm really thankful for folks like Hyperlite to help out with the video and help out this garage and make it what it is. So um, if you got any questions or comments, leave them below, shoot me a message on Instagram, Facebook, I'm happy to answer it, but I I'm stoked in this lighting and we've got tons more video coming about the garage and its setup and process and you'll always see the lighting in this garage going on, but now you know the backstory of what I've done and why I did it. So. I really appreciate everyone watching. If you got any questions, you know where to drop them. Catch you guys later. Peace out.